So, from the title of this video, you guys already know we're gonna be making a tulip rib. All these flowers came from the dollar store. I'm not going to use all of them for the rib, but just wanted to show you the different colors I have. As well as this rib came from the dollar store. And this is really all the two materials we're gonna need. It's the wooden rib and some tulips. And what we're going to do is basically the same thing that we did for the rose reef, which is just cut them and stop them in. Alright my lovely, so I just stuck a few of them in there. And as you can see over here, I already cut these ones. I put them in this basket so I don't lose them. But I cut them. But I cut them to the size we will need for this specific rib. So what we're going to do is like the rose rib is really just thread them down into the wood. And because these ones all have a lip, each flower has a little lip with it. I'm really going to try to make all the lips go in the same direction. And I'm going to try to keep the flowers all going the same direction too. Now if I have green sticking out like that. I'm not going to worry about it right now because I can even weave it in later or I can um, just cut it off in a little bit. So let's get working, keep putting them in and we'll see where we get. As you can see here I don't really have a preference to which color goes well. I only have four colors, the purple, yellow, white and pink. And I'm kind of just weaving them in randomly. I don't really have a preference to which color goes where. Really. I just grab one from the basket. And put it in there. And then shift. And grab another one and put it in there. So I'm not really caring if it's like pink, yellow, pink, yellow. But I don't really want to do like pink, pink, yellow, pink. Or anything like that if that makes sense. If you feel better, you know, coordinating it a little better with the colors, you go for it. I don't actually know how many of each I have because I kind of bought them at a random time. Randomly, I just grabbed whatever the store had. So, I'm just going to use them until I can't use them anymore. And I don't really have a preference too much of where the green lips are either, if they're on the bottom or the top. But I don't necessarily want them in the middle of my flowers. So we'll see in a little bit and see what we got. So I'm about halfway through right now. You can either leave it like this and have some ribbon and say happy spring or whatnot on the front. Or you can continue. I'm going to continue because I have plenty of flowers to do. You can also hang it like this and have like a piece of mesh or ribbon going across and saying spring or happy spring or you can put a bird in there, whatever you like. Alright my lovely, so back to this tulip project, I decided to actually just do half of it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Um, ribbon, burlap, whatever you guys want to call it. I found this at the dollar store. I'm going to take this brown one as long uh, as long with some letters, some wood letters. Now they also have the wood letters at the dollar store but I already had some from Hobby Lobby so I'm just using what I have. But you can get the letters from Hobby Lobby or the dollar store. The rest of the things, the tulips, burlap and the reef all came from the dollar store. I'm just gonna glue it under to spell and spell the word spring out of it. I think that will look cute. So I'm gonna get going with that. Let me just get the hagla going and we'll get going. So those of you who've seen a few videos know that I like to reuse materials as much as we can. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of tape and just tape the end of it to the reef and I'm just gonna go around and that was not very good taping and I'm just gonna go around with it and make sure it's tight and I'm actually gonna go around twice and then I'm going to cut it 
So I'm gonna secure this with some hot glue on top of the part we're taping, the hot, a little bit of hot glue right here, and then we'll get going. Alright, so now that we got it taped and secured, what I'm going to do is just go around once more. I'm gonna hot glue this together a little bit, so I'm gonna put a little bit of a hot glue right there. And I want to make sure that it's really tied around because you don't want it moving around. And I'm actually going to put a little bit of hot glue on this side as well. To make sure that it doesn't move. So press it down for a minute and then we can grab our letters. If you want to paint your letters, this will be the time to do it. I'm actually considering to paint mine in green. But I'm going to let the spur lap actually dry for a minute and then we'll decide that. Okay guys, so now that it all dried, this is your time to paint the letters if you want to paint them. I just arranged them where I wanted them to go right now. So paint them, let them dry, you don't necessarily need to paint the back side since nobody's going to see the back side. And then arrange them the way you want them to be and start hot gluing them down. And just remember that a little bit of hot glue is more than enough, you don't need a lot. So just a splash or two and you might have to hold it down for a minute. All right, lovely. So when it's all done and dry, this is what it should look like. Our lovely tulips, our sign that says spring. Now all what's left is to find a door or a wall and hang it up. Alright guys, so there it is on the wall. Hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you all give it a try or do anything different, please take a picture and show me as always. Thank you and have a wonderful and blessed night. Thanks for watching.